Hi, I'm Paul Semendinger, and I'm here to tell you about my great-great-grandfather, August Semendinger, who was one of the early inventors of the camera. Behind me are two of the original cameras built by August Semendinger in the 1870s in Fort Lee, New Jersey. My great-great-grandfather began making cameras in 1859. In 1860, he earned two U.S. patents. We believe he moved to Fort Lee in 1870 or 1871. The cameras were made in Fort Lee throughout the 1870s and the 1880s until August Semendinger's death in 1885. Most of the cameras today that are found that are Semendinger cameras came from the period when they were made in Fort Lee. Interesting, most early cameras were made from piano wood and that's a speculation as to why he might have moved to Fort Lee. It turns out that there were two piano makers in Fort Lee during the time when August Semendinger made these cameras. The more well-known piano maker were the Abbott piano makers. But on Coitsville Road, within walking distance of the Semendinger factory, was the Ruff piano makers. It seems from advertisements that Semendinger was most proud of the patent that he called the Silver Corners. Presumably, they sat holding in the plate glass on the back of a camera. Interestingly, I've never been able to find an example of any Semendinger camera today with the silver corners still intact. Another interesting patent developed came at the bottom of what we may call this carriage right here, were a set of wheels to help the photographer move the carriage in and out to focus on the subject. Some of the unique features about the Semendinger camera, and it's not on all of them, but one of the unique things he came up with was this little storage area in the front of the camera. I think Semendinger was the only one who did that, put these little storage boxes in the front. The camera on Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman does not have this. And there is a book from the 1800s where the author says, Semendinger invented that little box, and he sort of makes fun of him and says, I don't know what much you can do with it except maybe put in a couple of spare parts or a sandwich. One of the reasons Semendinger probably stopped making cameras, or at least his son stopped making cameras, was because wet plate technology went out of style. Eastman, George Eastman of the Kodak fame, came up with a way to make film that could stay inside the camera that was much easier and quicker to develop than using plates and chemicals like they used in these old cameras. In fact, if one were to look closely at the camera, you would see stains from the chemicals they used to make the pictures on these old cameras. August Semendinger died in 1885. We have never been able to find his burial place, but we believe he was buried in Edgewater, New Jersey, in the old lot which is near the old Alcoa plant. In that cemetery, there is a Semendinger plot but we've never been able to find August Semendinger's headstone. Mm -hmm.